Hey guys, it's me again. Today I wanted to talk to you about studying for the NCLEX exam, the big scary licensing exam. Uh, and I wanted to share my study uh, method and what works for me. Obviously there's plenty of different ways to go about studying for the NCLEX. Um, several people have asked me what I plan to do, so I'm going to show you now. Uh, first of all, I'm going to pan the camera over here and show you all of my notes from nursing school. So there's lots of uh, books, uh, notes, supplementary materials, all kinds of stuff. This is just my notes uh, from the last four semesters of the core program, if I don't tip my camera over. Um, so I have like these extra large binders uh, and I was basically able to f just barely fit the notes from each semester into their own binder. I broke the binders in levels one and two, so I just had to sort of cram things in on top. Level three, somehow, you can see even colors in there. I managed to stay rather organized uh, in my OB psych stuff. And then in level four, I didn't quite fill out the binder. So that was exciting, but it's so much information. You know, when I printed PowerPoint stud, uh, presentations, I print multiple sides to a page, both sides of the page. It's kind of daunting to look at all of this and think, well, where do I begin, you know? Then, forget about the book. The MedSurge book alone has nearly 2,000 pages, you know? So, the first step of uh, deciding how to study for the MCLEX is trying to make a plan. So that's what I'm going to show you guys now. Uh, I'm going to try to refix my camera here. Whoops, welcome back to me and my hand. Okay, so... Most schools do ongoing assessments. Obviously you have your tests and your grades and you can sort of assess yourself as you go. My school did HESI assessments. We had to take one to get into the nursing program and then we had to take an assessment after levels one, three, and four. Um, the first semester was um, just sort of a, our first experience with the HESI. It didn't mean anything. We didn't get a grade for it. We didn't do one in level two in the OB mental health semester, level three. We did like the specialized HESI that was only OB topics only. And then this semester we did our exit HESI. The grade that we got on that did matter and it was part of a class and there was sort of a process. Anyway, the HESI, there's lots of other tests. We did the HESI. With that one they say they sort of HESI company recommends you get at or above a certain level to sort of ensure that you are very likely to pass the NCLEX. My school implemented a higher level than the HESI's recommendation as their sort of minimum recommended score. I've always done well on the HESI. Strangely, the best I ever did was on the maternity one. I have no idea how that happened because as you've noticed in my previous videos, not my topic. Um, all of the HESI scores and how I did in school sort of gave me the feeling that I'm fairly confident I'm going to pass the NCLEX, but I'm going to do this once. It's not free. It's a lot of stress. I want to do it right. So um, I wanted to do an NCLEX review course. Um, there's a lot of different ones. Um, I've heard that NCSBN, like the place where the um, NCLEX comes from, offers some sort of course that's very cheap, which is nice to hear, something like $50. I heard people take it and I've heard mixed reviews. Some people take the Kaplan, some people take the Hearst review. Um, I'm sure they will all tell you why they're the best. I decided to do the Hearst review. I actually just finished it today. Um, I heard I do a lot of reading of blogs and things like that, and I'm sure people really like the Kaplan, but I kept hearing that people felt like the Kaplan questions were so different like from the NCLEX that it didn't really help them. On the other hand, people who took the Hearst Review all sort of seemed to say the Hearst Review was exactly more than enough to, to pass the NCLEX. And then I also um, have this book, the Saunders. This is kind of the famous NCLEX review book. I have the newest, I think the newest one, the sixth edition. There's lots of NCLEX review books. Again, this one definitely gets the best reviews. It's giant, but 
Um, it kind of covers everything you need to know briefly, then gives you um, questions from topic to topic. So basically, rather than go through all of that, I've decided Hearst Review is basically what I'm counting on and then supplementary things from here. So I also bought this in level one. I actually was in a bookstore and found it on sale. I've never opened it. This is the Kaplan NCLEX RN thing. I don't know, I don't know. I decided Saunders is the one everyone says is the best and Hearst Review also everyone kind of says is the best. Um, it's none of it's free. I think my Saunders book here costs something around $60 or $80 or so. Um, Hearst Review, you can do online where you pay $300 and then you have access to all of the content in the form of um, like video lectures. And then they also send you a book. I've shown you several times. They send you a book. The book basically is the, it's maybe an inch wide. It's the equivalent of all of those notes over there. They really condense everything into, here's the core content that you absolutely need to know. And if you know this, you're going to pass. You can apply this information to everything and this is what you need. I like the look of this better than the look of that over there. So you can do the $300 online thing where you watch videos and you sort of follow along in your book. Um, or for $50 more, you can go to a live review where you have an instructor who does essentially the same thing, but it's live. I did the live one. It's three days plus an extra. There are supplementary uh, online videos that you have to watch uh, on your own time. Um, I really liked it. It was really good. I think... I think you can do either the live or the online. The online is probably just fine. My group was so big in the live review that what there was, they there was really not much time for questions, and they re she really had so much information to cover in a short time that she didn't really deviate from the plan, the path, you know. So, whichever way you go, I really enjoyed it. It really helped me to, in three days, review what I've learned over two years, sort of, you know, blasting through the core concepts fast, really fast. It um, really helped because, thank. I mean, luckily for me, I felt like, okay, most of this I know. Some things I was certainly remembering, oh, I need to look at that again. And it gave me sort of an idea of where I am, you know. Um, so that's kind of what I've decided to do. The Hearst review also guarantees that you'll pass the NCLEX the first time if you follow their plan or they'll give you your money back, which is pretty cool. Most hospitals or many hospitals, at least around here, will also reimburse you for the Hearst review. So, and some even require it once you get hired. So it's a good thing in my opinion, whether you uh, need it before you take the NCLEX or after. It really is a great summary of here's what a nurse absolutely needs to know. They, it's a little bit cult-ish. Um, it's made by a woman in Mississippi and she has this ultra strong accent like that would make Paula Dean sound like a New Yorker. And um, so they definitely have a method, a teaching method, and they sort of, it's a, they keep chanting these key terms and things like that. And um, they keep saying, you need to know this without doubt and without hesitation. And if you know this without doubt and without hesitation, you're good to pass the, the NCLEX. I really liked it. So at this point, I just graduated to, to uh, what is it, Wednesday? Oh, one week ago today. So um, I'm waiting for the board to allow me to test. Um, we got a, my school has to send some paperwork to the board. They have to process it, which takes some time. And then we get an authorization and then we have to send up. Uh, sign up for a date to test. It's now mid-December. My nursing job starts January 26th, so I have to have taken and passed the test by then. So um, I'm hoping that everything will happen in the next couple of weeks here, so that within two or th three weeks I can get a date to take the NCLEX. Until then, my plan is basically to review this book as much as I can. Um, there's a lot of topics in this book, obviously. It's everything a nurse is sort of theoretically supposed to know. What that means is that each topic is pretty condensed and short, so I think it'll be pretty easy to focus on which topics I know and which ones I don't. And 
uh, then sort of supplement through here. If there's anything I don't know, I can review. It gives goes into a little more detail in this book, although this is also a brief summary compared to the MedSearch book. And then this book also comes with practice tests. Uh, the Hearst Review does too. They give you access to six practice tests that have 125 questions each. Um, that's kind of the plan. Uh, the HESI sort of indicates that I should pass the NCLEX. The Hearst Review sort of guarantees that if I do what they say, which I fully intend to, I'll pass the NCLEX. And I did get really good grades in nursing school. So all signs point to me passing this test the first time. I also really need to if I want to start my ICU job on time. Knock on wood. I hope I'm not like counting my chickens before they hatch here. Um, but that's the plan. I highly, personally, there nobody's paying me to say any of this. In fact, the Hearst Review is very strict about they will pursue legal action against anyone who publishes their information online or tries to sell their Hearst Review book. So I think it's safe to show you the cover, but I can't really explain much of much more about the content other than watching videos and following along in your textbook. It's sort of a fill-in-the-blank kind of format in the book, but it's... Uh, really good. I don't really dare to test my luck with Aunt Marlene from the Hearst Review. So I recommend both of those. I, um, knock on wood, hope to pass here soon in the next couple of weeks. I promise uh, to update you in this video uh, as soon as I know. So hopefully if you're watching this I've already passed. Maybe it'll say something here. And um, that's my plan. I would like to hear how everybody else studies. If you've already passed the NCLEX and you're a nurse already, a registered nurse, tell me um, how you did it. If you took the Hearst Review, if you did the Saunders, if you did Kaplan, tell me. At this point, I'm absorbing, absor absorbing whatever tips I can. Anything to avoid reading through two years of PowerPoint presentations and a giant med search book. So. How to study for NCLEX. That was my project for the day. I hope it was helpful for you guys. Um, and with that, I uh, am done with studying for the day and the week, hopefully. we uh, I will keep you guys updated as new developments occur. Hopefully my next video will be me saying, I passed, I'm a registered nurse, or else I'll be crying into the camera. Anyway, thanks guys. If you have any questions, just put them below. You can also follow me on Instagram under the same username. So with that, I will leave you. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.